It's now time for Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brasses Valley Equine Hospital, dedicated professionals committed to helping each horse reach its full athletic potential. Hi, I'm Ben Buchanan, internal medicine specialist at the Brazos Valley Equine Hospital. Tara wants to know more about ulcers in the horse. Well, Tara, we talk about ulcers in two different places, the stomach or gastric ulcers, and then the hindgut or colon ulcers. Today we're going to talk about gastric ulcers. Gastric ulcers can be a performance limiting problem. They can also cause mild to moderate colic when a horse is first fed. Because of the horse's unique anatomy, gastric ulcers in the horse are analogous to esophageal reflux or heartburn in people. Gastric ulcers develop from an imbalance of aggressive factors in the stomach that are necessary for digestion compared to protective factors that prevent the stomach from damaging itself. Aggressive factors include acid production in the bottom half of the stomach and fermentation of feed products by bacteria. Protective factors include eating diets high in fiber and forage and production of mucus in the stomach, as well as tissue healing. In most cases, gastric ulcers are a management problem. When a horse is eating grain, there's more acid produced, less mucus, and less fiber in the stomach. When a horse runs out of hay overnight or is not eating well during a weekend competition, Acid is still being produced, but without the necessary saliva and fiber to buffer it and keep it from damaging the stomach. The good news is that there are products available that are proven to help reduce the aggressive factor of acid production. And at the Brazos Valley Equine Hospital, we help our clients with treatment plans designed for the specific show and work schedule of the horse. One other aggressive factor that is involved in gastric ulcers is bacterial fermentation. Bacteria in the stomach digest carbohydrates into short-chain fatty acids like vinegar. So if you're treating your horse with apple cider vinegar, you may be aggravating or actually causing stomach ulcers. And at the Brazos Valley Equine Hospital, we also help our clients to develop feeding strategies that include high fiber diets, which are important for good intestinal health and may limit the effects of development of gastric ulcers. You'll note that I did not include bute or banamine as a cause of gastric ulcers. These types of medications have a very small role in stomach ulcers, but are very important in colon or hindgut ulcers. That's going to have to wait till next week on Ask the Vet. If you have any questions about gastric ulcers, come see us or look us up on Facebook at Brazos Valley Equine Hospital and on the web at bveh.com. Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brazos Valley Equine Hospital, now with three convenient locations in Texas, Navasota, Rockdale, and Stephenville.